Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to go over the new climbing system that I implemented in the GDXR template and this was after user feedback on the old tag system which was kind of overcomplicated and a bit unnecessary in places. Um, so what we can do is to set up a new climbing location we can bring in an object something like a sphere static mesh and we want to make sure that static mesh has a collision channel or collision on it so we go to symbol collision Take this to true and then simple complex collision. The collision true, it is in there, it's really faint, but we can see that it actually has a collision sphere around it, which is exactly what we want. And that is by default set to block all. So we bring that in. All we have to do to make it climbable now is go to the right. We want to change the collision preset to world climbable which is at the very bottom of that list. So just behind my head, so well climbable. And that's all we need to do. So now if we jump in, we can actually put the headset on, we can head on over. And then as soon as we grab it, we can actually climb that sphere and do what we need to do. And we drop down. Cool, so what about hand snapping? So let's say we want to snap hands to a specific location. I'm going to change my character settings. So character settings, show hands. So that way we can actually see where they are. And in this case, I don't want to grab the sphere itself. We want to grab the hand snapping. So take the hand snap blueprint. We can place it around the sphere. And then this will be the location that we can grab onto. So we could have a bunch of these scattered around. And what I'll do is I'll make sure these ones aren't hidden in game, just so we can see where they are on the mesh. You can see how I'm using them here on the ladder. They're a bit closer together. So wherever you grab, you're pretty much gonna hit one. So we do this. I'm gonna set the collision not to be hidden in game, which is just behind my head. And then we'll have a look at the variables as well. So now in this blueprint, if you have it selected, on the right hand side we've got can climb. All we need to do is tick that. So as soon as we tick that, it's going to now use the custom hand animation blend space to set our hand. So I'll just do climbing ladder. We can save. And then when we jump back in, hopefully we don't crash. We can pop the headset on. And then if we go over to it, we can see those locations for where they are. And then when I grab, we can actually grab those specific points. And we can't grab anywhere else because we disabled the collision. So we can grab those and then we can release and drop down. And we do that with the ladders as well. So they have those hands snapping. So we move our hand to that location if I don't miss the run. And then we can go up and we can climb up as we normally would over objects. And then if my controller goes over my desk, there we go. And we should jump back up if I glitched it. I think I glitched it. Okay, need to check that bug out. But let me move back a little bit. And then we can do that a little bit better. We'll see what was actually meant to happen. So if we go to it, we can climb up. And then we can go all the way up. Actually climb over the top. And then when I let go, I stand back up and can move around. So we've got the snapping and the free grabbing in there. So we can actually use that how you want for your game. And then you can kind of place those around. So if you want to climb up a wall, it's as easy as just switching the collision. So let's say this entire wall, I want to just be able to climb it. I just change collision presets to world climbable. Jump back in. And I'm pretty sure this entire mesh is the same piece. So we can go up to it and then we can actually climb that wall as we normally would, which is super cool. And then if I can get my controller underneath me, I can then fall through it. <laughs> I probably went off the other side. But um, yeah, so you can actually use that to set up climbing and everything else and go from there. So yeah, that should be it for climbing. It's, it's super straightforward now. I cleaned up most of the code and it should be easier to just drag and drop in and then set up for where you want them to be. 
without having to worry too much about the back end side of it and dealing with tags and interactables and that kind of thing. Cool. So hopefully this helped. Um, if you want more information, make sure to head over to the Discord. I'm in there most days and I can help you out with anything. But um, in the meantime, make sure to check out the Patreon if you want to check this out. Or even the Epic Game Store, which we can, which you can download it from there. Um, yeah, awesome. Links will be in the description. Bye.